Hi, my name is Joe Major. I'm the pastor of Faith Baptist Church in Violet, Louisiana. And I just want to ask you an important question here this morning. If you were to die today, are you 100% sure that you will go to heaven? Are you sure that you are saved? Now, I've asked thousands of people this question throughout my lifetime, and I've heard many different answers and many different people's opinions about how they think they can get to heaven. But what matters is not what man's opinion is, but what God says. In fact, most of the time when you ask people this question, usually they'll tell you, well, I believe I'm going to go to heaven because of my works or because I've been a good person, or I've lived a good life, or I've been good to my neighbor, or I've been baptized, or I go to church, or something to that effect. But none of those things get you into heaven. None of those things will save your soul. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter number 2, verse number 8 and 9, it says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So several things that that verse right there tells us. First of all, we're saved by grace through faith. And then it says, it says that it is the gift of God. Now let me ask you a question. When's the last time that you had to work for a gift? If you work for, if worked for it, it's no longer a gift, is it? Then it becomes a wage, something that you earn. But the Bible says that it's the gift of God, meaning that it is free, that there's nothing that you have to do except for accept that gift that's been given to you. And then the Bible also says there very plainly that it's not of works. You see, there's no works that you can do that will get you into heaven. In fact, the Bible also says in Galatians chapter number 2 and verse number 16, it says this, Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ, and not by the works of the law, for by the works of the law so shall no flesh be justified. So according to the Bible right there, you can't be justified by keeping the law. You know the Ten Commandments that God gave to the children of Israel in the Old Testament? Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, thou shalt have no other gods before thee. You cannot get to heaven by trying to keep the works of the law. And so according to the Bible, there's nothing that you can do in and of yourself in order to get saved. In fact, if you could work your way to heaven, then what's the point of Jesus coming and dying on the cross if you could just get there on your own? Think about it. Why would Jesus endure the pain and the suffering that he went through there on the cross if you could just work your way to heaven? In fact, the Bible tells us in Galatians chapter number 3 that, uh, that if righteousness could be attained uh, by the law, it says, verily, a law should have been given. But because you cannot be saved by the law and by, uh, by doing good works, Jesus had to come and die on the cross. And here's the reason why. Because the Bible says in Romans chapter number 6, verse number 23, it says, for the wages of sin is death. You see, what we earn for our sin, because every one of us is a sinner, what we earn is death. And so that payment had to be paid, and Jesus Christ came and died on the cross and endured our payment. His soul went to hell, and then he was raised from the grave by God the Father, and he did all of that for us to pay our sin debt, not his. The Bible tells us that Jesus was tempted in all points like as we, yet without sin. So Jesus had no sin. He didn't have to pay for his sin. He paid for our sin. But that's the great thing. The Bible says in Romans 6.23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then if you can't be saved by your works or you can't be saved by anything that you do, then what is the answer? How do you get salvation? How do you receive that gift that God has given to us? Well, here's the answer. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter number 10 and verse number 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. 
So that's God's promise. You know, if you were saved by your works, how would you ever know if you're going to be good enough to go to heaven? How would you ever know if your good works could outweigh your bad works? You would never know, would you? But you know, the Bible says in 1 John 5, 13, These things have I written unto you, that ye may know that ye have everlasting life. So God has given us these things, and he's given us this promise in Romans 10, 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. And it goes on in verse number 13 to say, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So it's not by any works that you've done, but you can know 100% sure that you can go to heaven because God has promised that if you'll simply do this, if you confess the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the grave, if you believe these things about the Lord Jesus Christ and you believe that it's not by any works that you've done, you're placing your trust only in Jesus Christ, then the Bible says thou shalt be saved. And so let me ask you here today, if you haven't known that before, wouldn't you like to call upon God right now and ask him to save you? And look, there's no special prayer that you have to say, no special words, but just say something to this effect when you pray. Just ask God to you know, forgive you of your sins, to save you, and, and tell him that you're trusting in his son and pray in Jesus Christ's name. You pray something to that effect and you believe what you are saying then you are saved and you can never lose your salvation.